everyone, uh, Trisha here to, from Westgate. Uh, so today's session we're going to talk about hand hygiene. Our hands, as we know, are the biggest transfer of disease and infection and by washing our hands we're breaking the chain of infection and once we break that chain the infection will can stop okay uh, as we know as I say that our hands are the, are the biggest are the link in the chain so by washing them we are breaking that chain so today I'm going to demonstrate how we should effectively wash our hands I know we all go in and we, we just run them under the tap and maybe soap and water and things like that but there are a, is a certain technique that will allow you to wash all parts of your hands, okay? So we'll start off with the soap and water. So, okay, we go to the sink and we have our soap and water and we run the tap and we wet our hands, okay? And then we apply our soap, okay? So when we apply our soap, we rub our hands palm to palm, okay? And the friction is what gets rid of the, the germs on our hands. So palm to palm, okay? right hand over left hand interlocking your fingers so you're getting right down there into the little grooves left hand over right hand and same applies then we want to get the little palm of our hand done so with the tips of our fingers circular movement round and round and then the other hand the same okay then we want to get the tips of our fingers done so we interlock and we rub them like that and back again on the other direction okay then we mustn't forget our thumbs because they are very important. We circular movement our right thumb and left thumb, and then we will finish off with our wrists. Okay, not to forget the wrists. We should really have no jewelry on, no watches or ring, not watches or bracelets around your wrist because that prevents you from washing your wrists properly. Okay, then you rinse off your hands with water and dry them with paper towel and put it in the bin okay a little bit of moisturizer on our hands is is important because uh, our hands have gone very dry from all the washing of, the, of our hands okay the second thing i'm just going to show you is the alcohol gel if you're out in the car or in the supermarket or whatever and you have no soap and water we just need to use our, our alcohol gel okay it's as effective as the soap and water when we don't have soap and water Okay, so the same applies, just a little bit of gel in the middle of your hand, rubbing your hands, okay, the same way, palm to palm, that's the friction, up and down, okay, then interlocking your fingers again, um, right hand over left hand and left hand over right hand, right down into the grooves there, because that's where the little bit of dirt can get, okay, then we need to do the palm of our hands, circular movement, right hand with left and the other hand the same, okay, then we want to get the tips of our fingers, just interlock like that and your tips, your fingers are done. Don't forget your thumbs, okay? And then your wrists, okay? It only takes about 60 seconds. It looks a bit long now while I'm doing it a bit slowly, but you, when you keep doing it um, and you get used to the practice, you'll do it very quickly, okay? And it's only a matter of seconds then, okay? As I say, it only takes about 60 seconds, but it is, it is the most effective way of keeping you safe and, and, and preventing infection through this laptop. Thank you all for joining in on the hand hygiene session today. Okay, so um, hopefully we'll see you again soon for the next session.